I'm back everybody. It's me, Dr. Ryan Packard. We're talking about cleaning your braces. Time for some PF Owen so you know where you're going. I reacted to a video I found online by Victoria regarding her nighttime braces, cleaning braces at nighttime routine. Yeah, that was a mouthful. Anyways, she was awesome. Found this other video that she did of her morning cleaning routine. And that's probably one of the most important things. Nighttime and morning cleaning your braces routine. And she did awesome at night. And so I wanted to react to this one too. See if she throws out anything else that's unique that you might want to know and copy. So here we go, let's react my morning braces routine. So if you're interested to see how my morning braces routine differs from my nighttime routine, just keep on watching. Make sure you give this video a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's get into this video. That looks like a good breakfast. It is important to have good breakfast. In case you were wondering, it's my favorite meal of the day. Okay, so now that I am back, it is now 11.37 and I am just gonna first go ahead and start off with my water flosser to begin to help rinse out any of the food particles that may have been left. And okay, actually, this is different from her nighttime routine. She first started with the toothbrush before and then did the water pick afterwards. Now in the morning, she's starting with the water pick to rinse all the food out. I actually don't think that that is a bad idea. Try to rinse it all out, shoot it all out, floss first, and then you go brush all that stuff that you've just flossed out or shot out with water, rinse out with water and get it all the way out. Or, you know, brushing first to get all the food products out as much as you can and then going back and detailing with water pick. Either sequence, not bad. Now, I did my research on this and it is recommended by the American Dental Association to brush your teeth 30 minutes to an hour later after you eat a meal. So that way the saliva in your mouth can help wash down the food particles that are in your mouth. So if you choose not to wait 30 minutes till an hour to brush your teeth after you ate breakfast or any especially any type of acidic food, then you can be doing some damage to your enamel and you can also throw off the pH level in your mouth. And she has done some research. So, okay, so first she's doing the water pick over the sink, just like her nighttime routine. Smart move, this can get really, really wet, messy. Now, as far as the food and the waiting 30 minutes, most people probably don't wait. And it's not the end of the world. She brings up a very valid point is that our mouth, there is a pH level at which the environment becomes acidic. And acidic is usually the environment of cavities. So we don't want the environment to be too acidic. So you drink things like, you know, water, very pH neutral, rinses things out, that's really good. In fact, you know, if you didn't wanna wait 30 minutes to let your saliva do all the work, or at least contribute to helping bring the environment back to a, a norm, more normal pH, you can rinse out with water or drink some milk. Rinse things out, you can spit it out in the sink. All right, the point is, if you don't wanna wait 30 minutes, although that is accurate, when you eat a lot of food or you drink something really acidic, juices, soda, all those things can damage your teeth. And then if you go and you use the toothpaste, which is kind of abrasive, maybe in theory, it kind of, you know, your teeth are more susceptible at that point because they've got all this acidic junk, gunk on your teeth. But if you rinse it out with water, then it might help you out. Rebalancing. Perfectly balanced. This whole thing should be. Flip side, if you want to brush your teeth as soon as you wake up, you can definitely do that as well. It's just depending on what you like to do. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go in with my Colgate cavity protection. She got a big one now. It's full. It looks so good. A full tube of toothpaste is just so appealing to me. All right, toothpaste. And actually, I am not going to be using my electric toothbrush. No, I do not use my electric toothbrush in the morning. Not using the electric toothbrush in the morning. This is her personal preference. You can use the electric toothbrush at night, in the morning, whenever. You don't have to have multiple different kinds of toothbrushes. You can have the manual toothbrush. You just gotta get the job done. Cleaning job at nighttime. I prefer to use a manual toothbrush in the morning. Um, this is just my preference. This is the Colgate Wave Zigzag Toothbrush and you can get these from Walmart or Target or anywhere that sells toothbrushes. As always, I will leave the links in the description box so you guys can check that out. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the one that I already have open. And I like the size of the bristles and how big it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some toothpaste and begin to brush my teeth. That is a reasonable amount of toothpaste, it looks like to me. 
All right, guys, so here I just want to show you guys how I brush my teeth. I know I tried to explain this to you guys on my nighttime braces routine, but I feel like I did a bad job, so I'm going to try again. I thought she did a great job. We use that toothbrush, get it on top of the brackets, under the brackets, around the gums. I think it's important to consider soft toothbrush bristles, right? Actually, toothbrushes come in hard, medium, and soft, I believe, and definitely go for the soft. Listen, my personal, this is, I'm telling you a secret, okay? I actually put hot water on my toothbrush and my toothpaste when I'm getting ready to brush because I feel like it makes the bristles even softer. And then you can, you know, when you go after your teeth, you're going circular motions. And you're not maybe doing as much damage to your gums, hurting them as much. Don't put it in boiling water, okay? Don't be ridiculous. Just hot water that makes the bristles soft. You don't want to burn yourself. So the first thing that I do is I like to go on the bottom row of my teeth and I go underneath my wires and the bottom half of my brackets to brush my teeth. I go on the left. You know, this is interesting. Developing a routine for oral hygiene is just important as the routine at the free throw line, okay? Steve Nash, right? See that guy's routine? One of the best free throw shooters ever. Hey, if you've got, you, you can have a routine like that, for free throw shooting, you can have a routine for oral hygiene. And the more routine you have, the more likely you are to be successful. Follow the same routine, get it all done, all clean. Thank you, Steve Nash, for your example. And I brush on the right side. Then I like to go on that same, that same bottom row, but just flip my toothbrush up and brush the, brush my tongue. Guys, make sure you brush your tongue because there's a lot of bacteria on your tongue. Brushing your tongue is not a bad idea. You can help with good breath. Toothbrush also has the tongue brusher and it is very easy to weave through my brackets and I'm just gonna go in and floss. Look at that, she just stuck it right through there. That's excellent. If your gums and everything is really clean, then that should be a no big deal. You just pop it through there and, and do the floss where you kind of go up and you get it around each side of the tooth. And swish it around for about 30 seconds. A little bit of rinse, I like it. So we've, we've water picked, we've brushed, we flossed, and now we're rinsing. To a minute. So guys, if you are enjoying what you are seeing so far, if you learned anything valuable, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. So I know that you are enjoying this video. Okay, so now that that is done, and after I give you guys a close-up of my teeth, I don't know why, I always feel like I have to do this. Um, but yeah, they look really- Look at that. She's got the power chain, the pink stuff, all right? That makes it really hard to keep your teeth clean because the food gets caked underneath there. You really got to spend time being thorough. Make sure all the fuzz is off. Her teeth look really shiny, sparkle, all right? But that's what your teeth should look like. Shiny, pink, well contoured, not puffy, just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Victoria has done an excellent job keeping her teeth clean. I'm gonna go in with my Aquaphor Lip Repair. You guys already know, this is my favorite lip balm to use because it's very moisturizing and- Well, she's not just taking care of her teeth, is she? Actually, this stuff, or Vaseline, just the different types of lip products to help moisten the lips, they can be helpful when you go in for your orthodontic appointments, especially if you're getting braces on for the first time or Invisalign on for the first time. They gotta spread your cheeks out, make everything really dry, and if you've got cracked lips, it doesn't feel very good. I highly recommend you guys getting it if you do have chapped lips. Well, there you have it. Victoria's morning routine. Man, reacting to her videos has been excellent. I hope that all of my viewers out there who are interested in good hygiene routines with braces will apply some of the techniques that she used. Specifically, we're talking about spending time brushing. You don't have to spend an hour, brush, get all the food off, all right? Water pick or flossing. Use a fluoridated toothpaste. That can help strengthen the enamel and maybe a good rinse afterwards. Now, in general, eating things and or drinking things that are acidic in nature can do more damage to your teeth, it is a good habit to drink lots of water and rinse out your mouth so that you maintain a good pH in your mouth. That can help you avoid cavities. And that's what we're all trying to do. Actually, some of us are trying to avoid cavities and straighten your teeth and beautify your bite. So if you're in the McKinney or Anna, Texas area and you wanna talk about straight teeth and beautiful bites, come see me, I'd love to talk to you. And you can have excellent hygiene like Victoria here because you've watched this video. That's all I've got, just a little PF Owen so you know where you're going. Packard out.